And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man. What if I told you that the US Navy is not just a symbol of power, but a master of global strategy? Picture this, over 70% of the world's nations are surrounded by oceans making maritime security vital for international trade, the global economy, and national defense. Now, imagine a Navy so advanced and influential that it sets the gold standard for naval power worldwide. Grab your coffee cup and settle in, because today we're uncovering the incredible story behind the United States Navy, a force with a rich history of innovation bravery, and strategic brilliance. As the planet's largest and most advanced naval force, the US Navy's global presence is a cornerstone of American influence and security. Let's dive in to how this formidable fleet maintains its edge and why it matters more than ever. But what if I told you the US Navy could remain on station for months without ever needing to dock. The secret lies in one of the most uh, critical but often overlooked vessels in the Navy's arsenal, the replenishment oiler. These ships provide the lifeblood of naval operations, ensuring that warships are never far from fuel or supplies, even in the most remote parts of the world. Imagine a carrier strike group in the middle of the Pacific or a destroyer in the Indian Ocean, far from any port. Without oilers' replenishment, these ships would be forced to leave their strategic positions for refueling, rendering them ineffective in extended operations. These oilers allow the US Navy to project power globally supporting military operations and humanitarian missions. Historically, oilers have played a key role in US military campaigns, from the World Wars to the Gulf Wars. Whether patrolling contested waters in the south of the China Sea or supporting aircraft carriers during operations in the Middle East, oilers ensure that US naval vessels can stay at sea longer than any other nation's fleet. Replenishment at Sea, RAS, is one of the most complicated and dangerous maneuvers in naval operations. Picture this, two massive ships rushing through the open ocean, connected by fuel lines and supply cables. That's how oilers transfer everything from fuel to ammunition to food. It requires precision and coordination from both crews, especially in rough seas or during combat conditions. Do you know that there are two main types of replenishment? Connected replenishment, CONREP, where ships physically connect using hoses and cables. This is the primary method for transferring liquid fuel, while solid cargo is transferred using high-tension cables vertical replenishment, vertropy. In this method, helicopters ferry supplies between ships, making it quicker and more flexible for delivering critical materials. Before the operation begins, the supplying ship, the oiler, and the receiving ship coordinate every detail. This involves checking all equipment for functionality, setting up the necessary fuel lines or cargo hoses, 
and confirming all safety protocols. This meticulous preparation ensures everything runs smoothly and safely during the transfer. The ships then maneuver into their designated positions. Typically, they maintain a distance of about 100-200 feet apart. Both vessels must match speeds and maintain steady navigation to ensure alignment during the transfer. This precise positioning is crucial for a successful RAS operation. Once the ships are in position, a line is shot from the oiler to the receiving ship. This line is used to pull over the fuel hoses or cargo cables. Depending on the type of supplies being transferred, these hoses or cables will deliver fuel or other necessary materials. With the connection established, the transfer of fuel or supplies begins. Pumps or other scanisms move the fuel or cargo from the oiler to the receiving ship. During this phase, the flow rate and pressure are closely monitored to ensure the transfer is steady and safe. Once the transfer is complete, the lines and hoses are retracted carefully. This step is essential to avoid any spillage or damage to the equipment. Both ships then prepare to part ways. Finally, the ships separate and resume their everyday operations. This separation is executed smoothly to ensure both vessels can continue their mission without delay. Building and maintaining these vital ships doesn't come cheap. Each new oiler in the John Lewis class costs about $500 million, an investment in the US Navy's strategic endurance. The modern fleet of replenishment oilers is crucial in maintaining the operational tempo of US Navy vessels worldwide. These investments aren't just about fueling ships, they're about enabling the US to respond quickly to global crises, project power, and maintain freedom of navigation. New technologies are shaping the future of naval logistics. Autonomous replenishment vessels and drones are being explored, aiming to improve efficiency further and reduce risks during operations. Additionally, sustainability initia Navy, ready to respond immediately. For more incredible insights, into naval operations and how these silent giants keep the fleet at sea, stay tuned to Hanyi Aviation and Nautical Masters.